Aha! Everybody, hello and welcome! Can you remember the game Fishing Baron C? Well, this is its sequel, Fishing North Atlantic, and today I feel it's only right to take my first look at one of the new features, Harpoon Fishing. So we'll just make his way out of this port. I actually find this particular port one of the most difficultest in the game to actually get out of, particularly at night. The boat is one of the smaller boats. It's one that you will start off with when you first start the game, when you begin your fishing career. Uh, you may run through uh, the harpoon tutorial when you first hit the game up. I can't quite remember. I've played the game now at this point I've been playing it for approximately 19 hours, so yeah, I think it's good. When I say 19 hours, I don't mean 19 hours continuously. I have had a bit of a sleep in between. <laughs> I don't know if you can notice the autopilot kit on the boat there. I believe that's new. We didn't have that in Fishing Baron Sea, did we? We've also got a handy tablet as well, just down there, that we can click and it keeps record of all our achievements and catches, etc, etc, etc. So I was previously deep lining when I spotted a load of tuna and swordfish in particular on the surface and that is where I am going to head off to now. Yes, there is deep lining as well as long lining in this game. Right, so we're going to actually fast travel as in fishing Baron C. We get the option of fast travel. I think you use 50% more fuel uh, by fast traveling so uh, just watch your fuel but uh, for the purpose of the video we will fast travel to the area where I last saw some uh, swordfish and possibly tuna as well if you notice on the left hand side of the map there there is some icons of uh, the fish including crab and lobster you can actually drag them across and place them on your map um, to remember the locations where you've actually um, caught the fish from. Also, you can get tips from the local pub in this game, but never trust a stranger in a pub. He might not be telling you the truth. Right. We're up on top of the mast, spying all the there. That looks like a tuna. Yes, money fish. Here's the gold, here's the money. In fact, when I first started up this game, um, I went deep lining for swordfish and tuna and I made a million, I made a million credits, in-game credits, real easily. So that might be a little bit of a tip for you. So you can scope these fish out from the top of the mast here and also drive um, the boat from here. Look, they're all there, they're all teasing me, all in the water. Now you might think this is going to be easy, but no, it's not. This is going to be difficult trying to hit one of them with the harpoon. Right, so let's climb down the mast. A little bit clunky here. We need to, uh, what? Can we get down? We've just got to find. Yep, there we go. No. Press E, there we go. It's a little bit clunky at the moment, that is. Could do with a little bit more polishing. Let's switch the engine off. And the fish might not know we're here. We'll be real quiet. Right, so we just gotta go through these little magic doors down here. Crawl through there. Like Alice in Wonderland going down the rabbit hole. If we can open them. Again, we've just got to find the, the area and let me click it. There we go, press E wobbles. Right, so here we go. Wobbly with a harpoon in his hand is a very dangerous man, so uh, keep your distance. So, right mouse button, we can focus in. Left mouse fire, and we missed. 
No surprise there. They're a little bit far away, aren't they? I'll tell you what, let's just uh, get back in the uh, in the captain's seat and sail up a little bit closer to them. So we'll sit in the seat. We've got to start the boat back up. Sit in the seat. Are they swimming towards us now? Look at that. They've seen me actually get back in the driver's seat and they decided to swim straight towards me. Right, back down the rabbit hole. I've started the boat now, but it doesn't matter. Right, well, very quickly, get the harpoon and get back. They're swimming right towards the boat, it looks like. Run, Wobbles. Yes, they are. Look. Look at them. Pot look. Boom, we got one. Look at that. That was that, that was the lucky shot. So we've just got to wind it in now, reel it in. Um, if you notice the line, it, it goes yellow red. When it goes red, you want to ease off because uh, you risk tearing the line. And this one is going right behind the boat. I've never had one do this before so this is going to be interesting now how the game reacts it's gone behind the boat oh no <laughs> it would do this when I'm recording I've never had one go behind the boat before in fact I have actually got the oh no it snapped line 10 no you would not believe how many attempts it took me to actually get that I probably edited the video. <laughs> I've been here over an hour trying to catch one. No! Honestly, this is really, really difficult. Focus. Missed. They're all out there. They're just not scared because they know I cannot hit them. They're all laughing at me, poking fun. Missed. It is really, really difficult, this is. I mean, you can throw it quite far. Or fire it. I don't know if it's on a mechanical... Yes, we got one! I don't know if it's on some sort of mechanical mechanism. Or we're actually throwing that. Right, we got one. Finally. I've been here days. Days and nights have passed. But we have one. we just got to wind it in. Reel it in. Again, keep an eye on the line. Once it goes red, ease off. Because we've already lost one. So I was, like I mentioned earlier, I was actually out here deep lining. That's where the money is, I think. Deep lining for the swordfish and the tuna. You can hear mega bucks. But uh, I didn't have the harpoon on board. For some reason, you can only have one piece of kit on board. You can't. Ha you cannot have the deep lines and the harpoon. Why? Why not? I came across these and I would have loved to have got my harpoon out and had a little go. But no, I had, to, I had to drive all the way back to port to go and get my harpoon kit. Why can't we have both on? I don't know. This is a fighter. I'll tell you what, I'm not, I'm not confident I'm actually going to actually land this fish. Must be a real big one, this one. They all put record fish in, hadn't they, and trophy fish. That would, uh, that would make it more interesting if you actually caught a record fish. Or a unique or trophy fish. I would imagine that's quite a popular request. 
just cannot get this in. While we are attempting to land this fish, one of the most recent questions I've been asked over the last few days of having this game, because as a few people know, I've got the pre-release version, and I've posted some pictures up on social media. One of the most common questions I have been asked is, when is it coming to Xbox or PlayStation? I believe it will be coming, or it is intended to be released. To blah, 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 can't get me weird out. To be released on consoles at a later date, um, yet to be confirmed. I don't have that information. All I know about this game is uh, what I actually play. I just, I just learning it as I play it. I haven't got any fact sheets or anything, so uh, I don't know. But I believe it, it's, it's intended to come out on consoles at uh, a later date. Um, still yet um, to be confirmed. Maybe when all the polishing and uh, maybe they want to make some um, adjustments to the game and uh, when they're happy with that maybe it will uh, go forward to be released on consoles. Um, but as of yet I, I, I don't know any uh, future dates. But in the, uh, in the video description below I will put a few links um, regarding the game where you can, uh, you can go and have a look and find some information from. I've actually hit that in the tail. It looks like a swordfish. It looks like we've actually hit it in the tail. This is taking forever to land. Finally! Where's my fish gone? Well, <laughs> I presume it automatically gets stacked. Stacked and racked on the boat arm behind us there. There's still loads out here. I tell you what, if you become a bit of an expert, a bit of a pro player, you'll catch loads of these out here using the harpoon method. Well, I have to say, it's not the easiest method um, to use to catch the fish. It would be handy to have um, somebody actually steering the boat, driving the boat, sailing the boat around. They're coming straight at me now. If, some, if you could sail the boat around, you'd probably stand more of a chance of catching them. Right, focus. Oh, that was that, that was terrible. They're all swimming around me like a group of sharks. They want to eat me. Coming at me. They're coming at me. They're going to eat your wobbles. Oh, boom. We got one. Fish hit. We've got another one. Finally. I've been here hours. Literally. It is so difficult. You've actually won. You've actually got to hunt these fish down. And, and locate them. Which is not easy to find them on the surface. And then, once you've found them on the surface... You've got to, you've got to catch them. So there's a lot of searching, hunting, and you've got to be pure genius to be able to catch a load of them with the harpoon. It's really, really difficult. Oh, 
And what happened to me is I was I was out here long lining and I came across these um, swordfish and tuna on the surface and I haven't got the harpoon on the boat because you can only keep one piece of kit on the boat. So for the boats that you can equip the harpoons on, it will, to me it would make more sense to be able to have both on. So I, I don't know why, but I ended up having to go all the way. Oh, boom! We got one, finally, again. But I ended up having to go all the way back to the port. Watch the lines as it snap here, Wobbles. Going in the red, don't want to lose this. But yes, this is one of the new features um, that previously we didn't see in Fishing on Baron Sea. So I thought it'd be quite good to start off the first look at this uh, game. Um, doing a little bit of harpooning. We'll maybe do some deep lining in the next in the next video. Take a look at that. We landed this one quite easily. That one didn't put up a great deal of a fight. Shall we have a, a few more chucks? Now I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but in fishing North Atlantic. There does seem to be an awful lot of boats, a lot more boats in this game than Fishing Baron Sea. And some of the boats you actually have to locate on the map. They seem hidden on the map. I've come across a few of them um, as I've been sailing around and uh, unlocked them. And you can purchase different boats from different uh, locations, different ports. We got lucky there. Real lucky, we've got another one. Let's make this one the last one and then we'll head back and we'll sell these. Because uh, I'm useless at uh, harpooning. So while we are, or well, I am reeling this in, another question that I have been asked is, is it any good? Well, I think so. I think it's a good game. Now, so far I've put 19 hours into this game. And, um, yeah, I think it needs a little bit of polishing in places and a little bit of tweaking. Bearing in mind, this is a pre-release version. The game has not yet been released. So, uh, yes, I think it's good. And if you liked Fishing on Baron C, I'm sure you're going to love this, uh, this game, Fishing North Atlantic. So, uh, yeah, I would recommend this. It's, uh, it's a good, it's good, it's a good game. Good game, good game. Looks like, no, I thought we got it then. Some of them seem to put up more of a fight than others. There we go, fish caught. Right, let's head off to port. Someone's robbed me fish. There's only one there. Where my fish gone? There's one fish. Someone's robbed them. Be pirates out here, Wobbles. Right, off to port. So, for the purpose of the video, once again, we will use the uh, fast travel option. Let's pick this port up here and fast travel. Now, don't forget, you do use more fuel fast traveling. Oh, it's gone dark now. So, we'll sell these. We'll sell these fish. So, we actually got $66,000 for them few fish. I wish I could get that money in real life for catching a few fish. $66,000. And I believe the prices have actually uh, changed there. So, if you enjoyed the video, smack the like button. You want to see more fishing North Atlantic? Smack the like button. Say hello in the comments below. And aha! I'll see you all again uh, real soon. Thanks for watching. These videos are tremendous. You'd better like them too or I'll be back.